welcome to episode two. Yeah, episode two, week three. I'm not going to keep track with these numbers. Yeah, it's week three, day one. Time for another run. Come on, guys, let's get going. Good morning. Look where I am. I'm at Manchester Airport this morning. I thought I'd do something a bit different today. All right, this is going to annoy me. Let me just switch this off a minute. Yeah, I thought I'd try out a different place to run. Your local streets get a little bit boring, don't they? If anyone is into running. Not sure where I'm going to end up. That's one thing I don't like about doing something different. I don't know the routes, the exact routes, the exact minutes. Whereas whatever in my local area I do. But yeah, oh, there it is. Not sure you can see very well actually. You just got the tower over here, and you got some aircraft lined up over here. I miss the airport. I mean, we never had a holiday plans this year anyway. With COVID, it's made that decision, oh, sorry. Made that decision a lot easier. But I do miss the airport. We've got a trip booked. As all of you know, this trip, the trip for the marathon, we've got booked for January and it's making me really upset thinking about it all the time because I'm obviously trying to train, train hard, train well. I'm just like, is it going to go ahead? I really don't know. The closer we're getting, I just walk for a minute. The closer we're getting, the more I'm thinking, no, it's not. Um, Florida has just had a massive spike in their COVID cases which is really, really upsetting. I really thought when I booked it, it's like eight months out, be fine. Things will have sorted themselves out by then, but I really don't think it will. And it's just putting the future, doubting my mind about the future of our trips. And I don't know what to do for the best. Some days I'm really positive and think, no, let's train. Let's do it really well. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll happen. But unfortunately, we're just not gonna know. But today's not one of those days. Today we need to be positive. We need to carry on running for starters. Whole part of the trick nimble. It's not a walking, it's a running race. So, what's everyone else's thoughts about this situation? When are you all planning on traveling? What are your thoughts on getting on a plane? So I really don't know how I feel about it. I thought I'd be fine with it, but the concept of having to wear masks permanently, it's hard enough wearing them at work, but outside of work as well. I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, it is what it is. We'll just have to do whatever, see whatever happens, won't we? Let's carry on with the run and see where it takes. So I'm, so I'm just over halfway through the run. A few more issues with the app again. Not going through the headphones. I missed the running cue today. I was halfway. And because I don't know this run, I needed to know the halfway point. So I could turn around and go back. Because it isn't a loop. So there must be a mag magic sequence with putting your music on starting the app oh, oh I don't know it's a really nice run down here though despite a car coming behind me now there's barely been any cars this morning which is typical when I film me it's so much nicer than the main roads so quiet it's so nice 
me in the road really. So anyway, halfway there on the on the downward stretch. is done. Just having a walk back to the car. It's been a lovely run this morning. So nice getting somewhere different. I just need to find different places every day and then I'll keep going. It's just hard having to drive somewhere first, then run, drive home. God, I miss negative. It's just easier going from your front door. I just wish my front door set was a little bit prettier than it is. But anyway, yes, it's done. So, Trying to decide the format for these vlogs. Um, I'm just playing with it in a minute, so bear with me. Please stick through till the end. Hopefully, by the final week of 14, things will have got better. Um, sorry for the lighting changes, but I'm just going through a bit of a dark path. Yeah, so bear with me. Um, just watching back last, the first episode, which is not aired yet. I'm filming this. Yeah, it's, it's the same. It's the same format. I do a cool, a cool, I do a warm up. I go for a run, and then a cool down. Um, and I obviously do that four times a week. So trying to think of different things, different. What? Is it anything you want to see? Anything you want me to talk about while I'm running? If I can, that would be great. Just leave a comment down below. I'm not sure who these vlogs are supposed to appeal to yet. I think. I suppose it's more about me documenting it more than appealing to anybody. If I get a few, what, a few views, great. If I don't, at least I've got diary evidence of my journey to Main Street. Hopefully, fingers crossed, my journey to Main Street. Oh, I missed a plane. What? Oh, that's just typical. I did two stretches up and down there, and then, anyway, yeah. So it's really warm this morning. The sun's just peeking out again and it's really hot. So I'm so sweaty. Sorry, I don't sweat. I sparkle. It's uh, pixie dust. <laughs> That's what I like to tell myself anyway. Right, enough waffling for me. I've got the day ahead of me now. It's probably about half eight, nine o'clock. Um, God, my arm. Got to go and get some shopping done and time for homeschooling. Um, I'll see you later during the week. Catch you later. Hi! So it's dinner time around here and I've decided I'm going to do one of the Hello Fresh meals that I've got. Um, I cooked a mango, chicken, beluga, wheat, something for t lunch. It was actually really nice. Um, and I've got a portion saved for my lunch tomorrow at work. And today I am, well tonight sorry, I'm going to be doing Thai style beef. So this is what it is. We have got Thai style beef with peppers, sugar snap peas and fluffy rice. So it's number two, so you open the number two pouch, which is this one, I have already opened it. And you have to all these ingredients, so we need red onion, blah, red pepper, ginger and all these other ingredients. And it is supposed to be a simple six step method. So let's see if it's as easy as it says it is. Looks yummy though. So this is the Thai spice style beef almost cooking, almost ready. It smells incredible with some rice. Oops. Off the camera. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, smells lovely. So here is the finished product. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I think it looks just about the same. Can't wait to try it. So I've just finished my uh, Thai beef curry. Oh, wow, that was spicy. It was really, really spicy. Yeah, there is a warning on it to say, be careful, maybe not add too much because it is really spicy. Yeah, if you don't like spicy food, which I actually do, I'd maybe just redu reduce it by half, but it was really tasty. I ended up putting some Greek yogurt with it. Luckily, I've got a lot in stock, but it was really lovely and tasty. So I've got another portion for another day at work. Um, yeah, best room to take the wheat yogurt with me. So that was really nice. But yeah, healthy, nutritious, that's just what I need. Thanks, HelloFresh. Oh, not sponsored. I'm just pay I am paying for it. Definitely not sponsored. 
So it's no thanks to HelloFresh because they've given it me. I'm just saying thanks HelloFresh because otherwise I don't try different meals. I don't, I just, um, not very experimental when it comes to cooking. Um, I never know what to pick. So the HelloFresh thing worked, is working out really well for me. It's just a few recipes that I'm picking through and they're sending me the ingredients for them. And yet it is working out great. So like I said, thanks HelloFresh. Good morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. It is now about 20 past eight on Sunday morning. I got up early um, and I'm trying out a new route today. The sun is shining, so it looks good. I'm at a local water park and I found it on um, a, ma a new app called All Trails. I knew about the water parks, but I didn't know that how this water park and another water park in the local area connected. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Just on my warm-up section, just a nice gentle walk. And then it's about a 10k this morning, just about an hour's walk. An hour's run, sorry. I wish it was an hour's walk, an hour's run. But yeah, looking forward to it. Lots of people out this morning. Lots of dog walkers, lots of runners. Um, yeah. I've done a couple of runs this week. This is my fourth run, so my long run of the week. Um, just see where it takes me. Is it excited? Never done this before. So, better get the map out and have a quick look again. Bye! place to run. How beautiful. The ground's a bit bumpy. It's used for the wobble. But it's really lovely. Very busy about half eight in the morning now. So I already took a wrong turn. Should have realised it wasn't that short. Tried to cross that bridge behind me already to go to the next water park. But it is much further down this river. So keep going. I think this is why I don't do new runs very often. Because I don't know it. Like it I feel like it's really disjointed because I'm stopping to check the map. But it's this way. It's not a complicated map either. I just worry I'm not going the right way. I went running in America once and their roads just like squares. But I took the wrong square, ended up going completely the wrong way and it was hot, super hot. So I was dead by the time I got back. But I'm now on the right path. So I'm going to keep going. Come to another fork in the road again with the bridge. Yep, still not my time to cross. So I have to check, stop and check the map. So it's this way. Okay. It's so nice this morning. I definitely should have brought my sunglasses though. But anyway, keep going. What a beautiful morning. Finally crossed the bridge and made it to the other water park. I have never been here before. So this will be a new experience. It is busy this morning, but it's lovely. How nice. Well, about halfway through. Well, no we're not. Start again. So we're about the other way through now. Really enjoying it this morning. Having to go a bit slower than I would do on the road, just because the bit on the river was a bit 
thick gravel path, but thick stones. It wasn't the easiest to run on. But this around the water park's lovely. It's nice and soft. Compacted mud. So yeah, it's beautiful. I don't know how many times I've said that during this vlog. But yeah, I just need to slow down a little bit to be able to talk to you. I'm just going to carry on. Won't be a second. Oh, that hurts my arm. Might just have to put you down for a second. It's not easy. This is going to give me an awful double chin. But it is much easier than holding it up here. Yeah. Yep, so that's going on this week. Big announcement that Stitch's Great Escape is not going to open ever again, even though it's never been open the past few times I've ever been. The closing primeval world, which we really fancy going on last time, but it wasn't to be. And they're closing Rivers of Light. Now, they put a lot of money into Rivers of Light, and some people are gutted, and I understand from a cast member point of view, it's probably very upsetting, all that hard work that was put into it, but it just never had the sort of right impact that it should have. It was never the show that we all expected it to be, which it couldn't be given where it is, it couldn't have fireworks, when we first went to see it, yeah, it was sort of like, uh, has it started yet? Sort of very anticlimactic. So what are your views on it? Do you think it should stay? Do you think all the detractions should stay? Or have they made the right decision? The other ones are that they're not going to be doing anything with the spaceship Earth, which is a bit of a shame really. I think it's about time we need to modernise it. I know we all love you. Dame Doogie, I can't speak. Dame Judy Dench. But things sometimes do need changing. And Mary Poppins. Yeah, it's a bit sad to see that one not come into fruition. All those people that have spent all, those, all that time and energy making it. Yeah. That's a shame too. But your thoughts on the... Leave a comment down below. What do you think about it? Am I right about Rivers of Light? Is it rubbish? Or is it... Does it just need a bit more time and a bit more reimagination? Right. This water park is finished. I'm now going to go back down the river. Oh, beautiful. And now we're going to go. A nice shot down the river. This is sometimes really not easy to walk on. Run on. I keep saying walk. I'm not walking. So much nicer running here than it is pounding those streets though. I'm just having to go a bit slower because of the, the pathway. But yeah. So that's it, I'm done. Six miles, one hour, new route, which was good. Um, yeah, enjoyed it today. I'm definitely finding it difficult running and trying to film at the same time. I can definitely feel that it's sort of like interfering with what I'm doing. I'm having to kind of stop to record because I want to film stuff for myself and for everybody else but I'm definitely struggling with that aspect of it it definitely breaks the flow of running but I do want to film while I'm on the doing the marathon itself so it's something I'm going to have to get used to 
to incorporate into my runs. It has been a really lovely place to run. And now I've done it once, I shall be more confident to do it again without having to stop to check a map all the time. It's definitely a lot harder than running on the roads. Um, well, certain parts of it were because it was so the, gra the ground was so uneven at parts. Even running on the grass wasn't easy because you couldn't see what was underneath you. My ankle would go from beneath me sometimes. One bit I was quite annoyed about. I eventually saw a place that had a more stable surface on one, part, one side of the river and I was running on the more difficult bit but I only discovered that towards the end so anyway it's one of those things I am now getting back to my car it's getting really busy here already it's half nine in the morning obviously the sun's shining and everybody's wanting to come here this morning so yeah it's not been I'm glad I'm certainly glad I came early to do it sorry I'm looking a bit washed out there so that's me done heading home I got a message off David and the kids saying pick McDonald's up on the way home so they want McDonald's breakfast I don't think that's gonna happen so anyway I'll give them a ring and see where we go but thanks for coming along that's my long run done for the week now next week's gonna be a bit of a challenge I'm on nights next week so I'm on nights tonight and then a full night shift so I'm gonna have to incorporate all my running and training into my nights and generally I will go out when I wake up so yeah that's gonna be a bit of a challenge this week but anyway, thanks for joining along. That's week three. Week three, all done and dusted. So catch you later. Bye. Good afternoon. Um, yeah, good afternoon. Welcome to week four. I have just woken up on the nights at the minute, so I need to try and squeeze my runs in between my night shifts. Didn't sleep very well. Had about six hours sleep, which I suppose isn't too bad just on my warm up again just a nice gentle 36 minute I'm just gonna do a gentle recovery run I did my long run yesterday I'm just gonna get the legs moving so yeah any of you guys work nights or shifts how do you sleep do you sleep well any tips any advice I suppose a solid six hours isn't bad it's the need for the wee that gets me up Having to get up and go to the toilet is what wakes me up. But yeah. Enough about my sleep patterns. Let's get on with this, shall we? So, my daughter kindly broke my wardrobe last night without me. I didn't realise. And the uh, where my shoes live underneath the um, and there's a drawer, shoe drawer. And the wardrobe's collapsed on it and it seems to have crushed my the back of my trainers. I'm not sure if it's in my head, but it feels like the back of the trainer is slightly crushed and sort of rubbing a bit. I'm hoping they're not because they're reasonably brand new trainers for this run. So I'm hoping I don't have to invest in another pair of trainers. Um, yeah, because I really love these ones and I don't want to wait to spend more money on some more shoes. So I am going to get on with my run now, as you can tell, very glass, half full today. Yeah. <laughs> Enough waffling, I shall see you in a bit. So I'm halfway through my run. Yesterday's run was so much nicer than this. It's too busy, too noisy, too many cars. I think I need to look closer to the countryside. Anyway, so I'm halfway through and I'm going quite slow. Not as slow as maybe I should do, but sorry, just crossing the road. Apologies for the wind, might need a muff. So, yeah, going a little bit slow, but I'm competing with myself constantly competing with Strava and putting my stats out there it's a constant battle with myself I should be running a nice conversational pace run right now but mentally I'm battling with myself to compete I don't know who I'm competing against my friends on Strava my friends on Facebook 
I am me and they are, they are them. We all have different abilities. I'm not a natural runner. So I am competing with these invisible people on this invisible competition. I just don't know. That's what I struggle with. I struggle with getting back from my run today, knowing that I've not been as fast as I could be. Yeah, it's not a nice feeling. Even though it should be a nice, steady paced recovery run, I want a PB every time, and that's not possible. So I need to try and stop that side of the competition in, in me. Because in the day, it's just for me. So I'm going to get on reasonable pace and just try and enjoy it. It's just about getting miles in the legs and keep moving forward. So that's it. I am home now. Uh, the run is finished. Did a five minute cool down walk and I'm back home. I did push myself for the last part of the, um, the run. Um, I am trying to do that, sort of like go a little bit slower on the way out and try and push myself at least for the last mile. Just to see if I've got any reserves in the tank to get myself that last bit. I mean, running 26 miles is gonna be difficult. So that's kind of what my plan is. But I am my worst critic. I feel like I'm competing with myself. Like I said, I feel like I compete with people on Strava and on Facebook and I don't know why I do it. I am never going to be Mo Farah or Paula Radcliffe or Jessica Ennis or any of those amazing runners. And I'm never going to be as fast as some of my friends that I follow. I'm just not. I am not a natural runner and I never have been. At school I was always the last one in cross country, the last one at 1500 metres. I was just not, I'm just not a natural born runner. And I try, but who am I competing with? myself I suppose is the Disney Marathon that race to do is it the race to race it's I don't think it is I think it's a, an experience and I should be enjoying the experience not trying to get a PB I've got really unfinished business with the marathon I ran the marathon in 2000 the London Marathon in 2018 2018 I think the hottest marathon on record for me it was well it was a heat wave, it was blistering, it was so hot in the centre of London and yeah I didn't run it like I'd wanted to run it and like I was doing in my training. My training was much quicker and much better but the day oh, it was just unbearable. The week before the marathon it was snow and then the week the day of the marathon like I said it was just awful. Some guy said to me at work on a work Christmas do, oh so what did you do it in? I was like five minutes twenty and he laughed at me. He actually laughed at my time. So it just made me feel awful. It's like, I should have said, well, what's your time and how fast do you run a marathon in? And how many have you done? But I didn't, I just felt awful. So I do have unfinished business to do. I don't think the Disney Marathon is the one to do it in. The weather again is gonna be hot and I should be enjoying the experience, not competing with myself. So I think I need to be booking onto another one, dare I say it. Sorry, David. I think I maybe will book, try and book the Manchester Marathon in April or find another UK one. I think that is definitely what I'm going to do. So I should be enjoying this marathon. I should be enjoying the training. Just getting those miles in the legs and it doesn't matter how fast I run it in. As long as I cross that finish line and get that medal, it's just a dream come true of mine. So yeah, I think I need to stop being so hard on myself and just enjoy it. So this is the start of week four. Run one's done, got another three to go, fitting it around my night shifts. So I will see you on my run next time. Bye. Good morning, guys. God, look at me. Look at this. I am so hot and sweaty. So I have just got back from my long run. I didn't take you with me today. I just wanted to try and focus on the running and I'm glad I did. It was hard work today, hard work. I went out for a 70 minute run and it, my legs just felt like running through sand again today and mud and anyway I did it, it was a reasonable time, I probably need just to slow down a bit more, but I did it and I'm back and such a disgusting sweaty mess, it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, so that's another week done. 
I think that's week four complete. I've just got a stretch um, and strength, training, strength <laughs> training session tomorrow. But that's it. Another episode complete and another run done. So thanks for joining along this week. Sorry, thanks for joining along for these last two weeks and this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again episode three. <laughs>